they would run to the girls' dorm almost naked and they would start singing songs, serenades. Some of the girls would play along, take off their panties, swing it around their fingers and then toss it across the courtyard. Life has gotten objectively more boring since we all started carrying around a high resolution camera in the form of our iPhone in our pocket every day. About a week ago, a friend invited me over for lunch and he had his family there. His father was there. His father is about 60 years old and he attended the same university that I did. He was telling me about his experiences in my university. Some of the things which he said just blew my mind. The things that he mentioned could never happen in today's climate. I fact checked all of these. So I went back and looked at old school newspaper records he wasn't making it up so there used to be this culture in my university a group of guys maybe like 15 guys they would all strip down to their underpants they would run to the girls dorm with a courtyard in the middle so these guys would go into the courtyard almost naked and they would start singing songs doing serenades just making a whole ruckus and being being annoying being funny doing stupid things to impress these girls and they would ask them for their panties now obviously like some of the girls would just hate this whole thing and stay indoors but some of the girls would would play along they would walk onto the balcony do a dance do like the whole show and everything make it interesting and take off their panties swing it around their fingers and then toss it across the courtyard and, and these things would just like you know fly and then float down like parachutes and the guys would go wild like they would jump and try to catch these that would be their trophy and people would fight over these and you know they'd get bloody nose and everything so can you imagine something like that, even remotely like that, happening in today's university environment? Impossible. It would be cracked down. Like, they, people would call the cops on these guys, <laughs> guaranteed. But even leaving aside the administration side of things, you know, even the university administration coming in, people would still not do crazy things like this nowadays, simply because if it was done, somebody would have their phone on them. Everything which happens would be online the next day or the same day, like on TikTok or something. And this causes us to not have these crazy experiences and looking at these crazy things happen because no one is going to do them. And instead, if crazy things are done, they're done solely for the purpose of TikTok slash social media. So if something fun and crazy like this was to happen, it would be done with an intention in mind, not just the fun, but the clout on social media. And that just changes things somehow. And, and other experiences with this father of my friend was talking about. They used to do this thing called the Naked Mile. And I know you've probably seen that stupid, absolutely stupid movie. Well, it was kind of fun though. American Pie Naked Mile. I think that's like a decade ago this movie came out. Yeah, but that's a real thing. Like people used to actually do that. So on the coldest winter night in my university, these guys, they would strip down to barely nothing. They would run across campus on this well-known path, butt naked, and then they would go back to their dorm. So at this time, there was this all-male dorm in my university, also had this courtyard in the center. So they would do something called the Authentic Olympics. And it is as bizarre as it sounds. Get this, right? These guys would strip down to nothing. I don't know why nudity was a part of all these stories, but anyway, they would strip down to basically nothing. And they would do the entire Olympic games in the privacy of their all-male dorm. They would have like discus throw, long jump, running and sprinting, all those Olympic events. They would just have fun, you know, they have a whole sports day. And I see nothing like that in the modern university system and let me be very specific I'm not talking about the nudity and the craziness of this I'm talking more about the sense of community that existed among these guys which doesn't exist now well first thing if anybody tried to do this obviously they'd be you know videoed and put online but besides that I have never in my many years in university seen a whole dorm come together to do anything unless it's university mandated most of the time guys don't even know other guys on their same floor they will only know their roommate because they have to and there's no sense of fraternity and, and co-mingling friendships forming across a group of 100 guys i've never seen that the maximum friend circle of, of guys i've seen is like three four fraternities are different of course because fraternities are essentially 100 guys hopefully you know living together and but that's different most people most guys don't join fraternities and another interesting story was the fights apparently back in the day the freshman class sophomore class would literally fight like the whole class of course the university was a smaller place back then then, but I must have been at least a couple hundred guys, maybe like 200 guys. Everybody would meet at this water tower that we have. They would just go at it, like complete brawling, like whole mosh pit, fighting it out. And the reason was, so usually the sophomores would kind of pick on the freshmen, but if they could win the respect of their elders, then the bullying would stop. And that's why they would do these fights. It's also another reason to weed out the weak. If you didn't show up for the fight for your class, you know, represent your class and fight for your class, then you would immediately be singled out as the guy who didn't show up for the fight. And then you would be bullied 
by your own class. Now this all seems very crass. It almost seems as though it's a good thing we left these things behind. I strongly disagree. Fighting, especially as a part of a tribal unit like your class, a university class even, there's something important that we've lost when all these traditions fell away. We you know with the advent of more administrative pressure and also the advent of the smartphone. It's hard to put my finger on it, but I think you feel the nostalgia that I do. It would be fun, wouldn't it, to just go with all your boys and fight this other huge group of guys and then maybe you come back to your dorms kind of bruised but proud that you did what you did. I miss that even though I haven't experienced that in college. Strange, strange feeling. But now the question becomes, well you aren't gonna get rid of smartphones anytime soon. Like smartphones are not going anywhere. So what do you do? You are never gonna see a panty raid. You're likely never going to see a whole on war between classes, you're never going to see you know, any of these things which our father's generation got to see. However, we can still reclaim some of that spontaneity, spontaneity, how do you say that word? And love for life that these gentlemen had by ignoring the fact that yes, you could get recorded doing something, something stupid, but you do something stupid anyway, just for the hell of it. Why not? Not for TikTok, not for the cloud, but just for the hell of it. Ah, that's something I'm going to have to work on myself. I'll post you an update once I get there.